some bad houses down there. Is there? It is. The aftermath of a freak weather event in Carbrook in Greater there, Manchester. A mini tornado caused by what meteorologists refer to as a supercell thunderstorm, which swept over the northwest. It didn't last long, and with damage like this, that was a mercy. I was just sat on the bed and I heard this noise, this rumble, it just got louder and louder. And it was literally just 30 seconds of mayhem. It was just shock, you know, and then it just was calm, and then people were on the streets, and it was just debris everywhere. When you see certain houses that have had their walls completely collapse, you think, oh, you know, can that happen to the other houses? That was pretty scary to see. What the absolute Windows were smashed, houses were turned almost inside out. A hundred properties were damaged, some had to be evacuated. Look, obviously the fire brigade and that came there and said, you know, grab some, grab what you, some warm clothes, grab your phone, uh, you're going to have to evacuate. And uh, so that's what people did. We just grabbed what we, we had with us at the time and grabbed the dog and we evacuated. I, I was lucky enough to find a friend there that said to put us up for the night. From very late last night, I had phone calls from people with concerns. Um, thankfully, there weren't any casualties, but there, we have elderly residents who were in bed and their roofs completely ripped off in the evening. Tornadoes in the UK are thankfully rare. Normally, there are fewer than 30 a year, and they're usually in more remote areas. These winds are the strongest on Earth. Not saying that the one last night was, but associated with tornadoes, we see incredibly strong winds, and they can't really be measured as we would typically measure a wind speed. Even so, when they do uh, knock into a, an area which is populated, they can cause a huge amount of a devastation. Before last night, Scotland had borne the brunt of Storm Gerrit. Today, with many homes still without power, people in Tarland in Aberdeenshire were queuing for hot food. Many roads are still only passable with care, and many trains and flights have been delayed or cancelled. This view from inside a police helicopter gives an idea of what flying conditions are like, its crew describing it as like being in a flying washing machine. At Dover, there's a tailback of trucks and trailers caused by delayed channel crossings. But for those worst affected by the storm, getting back into their homes is still a more pressing issue than getting away.